Are you going through something in your life right now where you feel as if you just don't know if you can reach out for help? Well, this week on Motivation and Confidence, we're going to talk to you about the steps you can take to reach out for help. Stay tuned. All right, everybody worldwide, you're now tuned into Motivation and Confidence, where we help you do your daily best. And I'm your host, Tom Danger. Back this week with a new episode. And this week, you know, I'm going to talk to you because we family. And I see you going through something. I see you withdrawing from family events. I see you withdrawing from social media. I see you hitting me up randomly. And clearly, something's not right. Now, I've tried to reach out to you. I send you text messages. I call you. I send you DMs. And I'm here for you. As men, we have to let each other know that we are here for each other. So you can reach out to me whenever you feel as if you're ready. This is no pressure, no judgment on your situation and what you've been going through. But clearly, you're going through something. I'm not one to judge. If you're choosing to medicate yourself or do certain things to keep yourself from thinking about the stuff that you're going through, that's cool for the moment. I can't judge a man on the amount of pain that he's going through, what you go through with your family, what you may go through with your kids, but more importantly, what you feel on the inside and how much it hurts. Because I know that you want to be better, but you keep letting the past hold you back. You keep thinking about all the ways that your dad wasn't there for you. You keep thinking about all them days when you got an ass whooping. So part of it is you trying to fight not being like your dad and slowly you're becoming just like him. Living in the past will not change anything. The past is the past. You can only heal when you are ready to heal. The healing process for each of us looks totally different. I am no better than you. I have to heal every day. This is the part of self-work that you don't want to deal with. The hard work. The hard work of looking in the mirror and saying, hey, I got some messed up ways. Man. My temp is out of control. Man, I may smoke just a little bit too much. Man, sometimes I just let my emotions get the best of me. Man, I want to do the right thing by you. But it feel like I just can't. It feel like I'm losing my breath when I'm trying to like talk to you. Like You're not really hearing me. I'm hearing you. I've been there. But you have to open up to the conversation so you can keep ducking me and say like, yo, I'm going to hit you back. I'll be right there. Whoop, whoop. And then you don't. And then you hide behind your work. Oh, I'm always working. I'm always busy. I get it. I'm always working. I'm always busy, too. But I'm here for you. The reason why I always ask you to take the assessment is because... I feel as if it's my duty as a man, if I have found something that has helped me become a better person and I don't share that with other people as a human, that doesn't make me a good human. Because all the people that are around me, I want to see you do good. I don't care in what area of my life it is. If you work with me, if you come through any of my pages on social media, if we're in a particular community together, 
I want to see everybody do good. So when I learn something, I share it with you. I talk about this disc assessment and everything else, and I still put it out there. If you're not taking a disc assessment and you want to learn more about yourself, you want to learn what your strengths and weaknesses are, TomDanger.com contact form. No cost. You take it, takes about 10 minutes. We jump on a call or Zoom call. I tell you what your superpower is. If you want to learn beyond that, then we work something out. But if you just want to know what your superpower is, hey, I got you. But until you're strong enough to look in the mirror and admit or acknowledge, here's what my strengths and weaknesses are. Here's a possible reason that I'm feeling this particular way. Until you acknowledge that, you're pulling yourself in quicksand. So you can smile and walk through with the charm and make it look as if everything is cool. But it ain't cool. Whatever you're going through is eating you up on the inside because you want to do better. But that pride, that pride that you have, you don't want to let anybody know the pain that you're in. But as your brother, I see it. All you got to do is call, shoot me an email. This is going to seem like this is subliminal. This ain't subliminal. This is direct. <laughs> this is directly at you. This has been a process that has been documented from fighting depression, failing relationships, job transitions, being accepted, anxiety, lack of confidence. This has been a journey and a process that's documented to help you. Yo, you ever check out the podcast? Nah. All right, cool. You don't check out this podcast? Did you check out any other podcast? Let's say you're not into assessments. Let's say you're not into reading books. But do you take five minutes every day to do something for you? If you follow me on IG, we would always say, did you juice today? Right? For those of you who rock with me. Drink a little juice. I ain't asking you to drink no eight ounce cup. I ain't asking you to get all sexy with it and be vegan and do all the stuff. I ain't even asking you to stop smoking. You can smoke, drink, do whatever you want to do. But at the same time, just put it in balance. And stop ignoring the things that you need to pay attention to. You. I'm telling you this because I love you. If I really didn't care, I wouldn't be talking about it. So, now that you have this message, I hope that you take action in your life and do something about it. Seek the help where you can get it. There are many people out here who want to help you, but we can only help you if you're willing to help yourself. This is Motivation and Confidence, where we help you do 